Part two of Coyote Tears continues to be largely narrated by the coyote, which I do think is an interesting plot device because it helps bring us better awareness of the impact that 10 million gallons of oil spilling into the sound is having on nature. Green Arrow has found the captain, which is how we ended part one, and he wants to bring him in, but the captain seems to be suffering. He keeps hearing the coyote howling, no, whether or not the coyote is howling, and he feels like the coyote is coming to him. It's almost like the telltale heart, but with a coyote. The executives have decided it's time to bring the captain in and send him to jail, uh, except that a bird covered in oil falls out of the sky, hits their airplane, it crashes into the ground. So Green Arrow decides to leave the captain in that cabin to his own devices to see what happens.